Hello and welcome to Fleetmatics 101. Today I will be training you on how to utilize the basic functions of the Fleetmatics logbook app. Um, we will be learning how to connect to a vehicle, fill out a vehicle inspection report, um, register your on duty drive time, punching in and out, whether it's for off duty, daily reset, or cycle reset. Uh, so without further ado, let's begin. To open up your app, hit the home button twice. That should pop up your passcode entry. Here you would put in 217771. Same passcode applies to all tablets. Um, once here, you will find your logbook app icon. Select that. Uh, once in the system, you will be required to put in your username and password. Your username will be your first name dot last name. Uh, here I have a sample um, username. If you've used it before, it should populate. You just select it and it auto generates it. Here you will put in your password which would be your employee ID number. In this case I use the dummy password. Once all that information is entered you can hit that key and that will log you into the Fleetmatics app. Um, once logging in for the first time it will always try and connect you to a vehicle. For our purposes we're going to cancel that and start from scratch. So your main page is your dashboard. This shows your last duty status. Um, I will go off duty for now to begin a clean day. When not connected to a vehicle, you will be prompted to put in your city and state here. Uh, you can confirm that status. So I am off duty now. Um, I want to start my day, normal work day. First thing I want to do is go to the setup and connect to the vehicle I am driving. So if you look here, these are your details, your name, vehicle, trailer, and shipping reference. For this purpose, we are going to add a vehicle. So we will connect there. Once you locate your vehicle on this list, you select it. That green check mark should pop up next to the vehicle you're driving. Once selected, you can connect. If you are connected to a vehicle, this truck icon here will be green. If you are not connected, it will show as red. Okay, here you can add your trailer. If I want to edit the trailer I already have registered, I will mark that little pencil icon. If I want to add another trailer, I will use that uh, plus sign. For this purpose, I already have my trailer added in. Now we go to dashboard once we are connected and we will begin our day on duty. Um, once on duty, it will show the location of where I'm at. In this case, Spreckles. I will confirm that status and I am on duty. Okay. Now that I'm connected and on duty, I want to do my vehicle inspection report. So I will go here to the truck icon and select inspection. Once here, I will add a new inspection. Okay. Now all these are your inspection checklist from service brake, including trailer to parking brake, steering mechanism, tires, horn, so on and so forth. Once I've checked everything, I can go along this right side and mark everything as checked. Now if there's a defect, I will mark it here and it will turn the icon red. Um, it will ask me for details on what the defect was. Here I selected tires. I can go into detail stating my tires were bald or I have a flat. Um, in this purpose, I will cancel that for now. Um, if you want later in videos, I can go into detail about the vehicle inspections. Now I will continue my inspection report. 
Once here, you will be brought to a vehicle inspection summary screen. Here, you need to type in a general comment in order to finish your inspection. One comment that most people put is, everything is okay. I had no defects, I had no problems with the vehicle. And then I can finally finish my inspection. So I will return to the dashboard, my main screen. I am on duty, my vehicle was inspected, and I am green here, which means I am connected to my bus. I can begin driving. Now, once the vehicle is in motion, it should automatically detect driving time. Once in driving time, you can no longer edit or touch the screen until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. Here, all drive times will show up on your driver's logs and cannot be edited. Once you stop, you can go back to your editing function. If I've arrived at the field and I am no longer driving, I can go to on duty and confirm my status. As your day progresses and you need to take a break, you will go to your off duty status and select your 30 minute break. Remember that you need to always confirm your status or, or it will not apply to your, um, your, your change of status. So we confirm here. Now we are on a 30 minute break. If your lunch goes past 30 minutes your, or your break goes past 30 minutes, the system will not automatically log you in. You need to manually punch back in yourself. So for this purpose, I'm gonna force a punch in. I'm gonna go back on duty. It will notify me that I have not met my 30 minute requirement for break. For training purposes, we will continue. And we are back on duty. Um, once we are done in the field and we are ready to drive back, if we are still connected, we can begin to drive. If not connected, proceed to your setup, hit the connect, and uh, begin that process over again. So once we have driven and returned back to the shop or the bus yard, you will go to your off duty and you will select whether you are doing a daily reset or a cycle reset. Cycle reset applies to the 34 hour reset. So daily reset is what and generally most of you will use. So we will select daily reset, confirm that status, uh, click yes. Now it is telling me that I got a rest to a minimum of 1.36 a.m. in order to apply my reset. If I return before then to work, then I have not qualified for a daily reset. So to close that out, hit the X up here, close out your notifications, and you are done with your workday. You will want to go to setup, disconnect from your vehicle, and hit disconnect. Once that icon is red and you are off duty, you are good to go. Um, if you want to review your logs, you can go to the log page here and it shows you all the change of status that you have from your punch-ins to your drive time. Um, once you are finished with a day, remember to certify your log and hit agree. Also here on the log portion, you can edit your events if you forgot to punch in or out. Um, I will go more into detail in another video on how to edit your logs. Um, but for now, that was the basic function of your Fleet Mautics logbook app.